it's just not one hernia. There are actually six different types of hernias, and yep. we have a graphic that shows us specifically what kind of hernias there are. And please, Doc, explain to us what these all mean. Oh, of course, so an inguinal hernia, again, is, is the most common type. It's about 90% of hernias. I think we have a visual of, the, uh, of each hernia as well. If we can pull that up so we can better um, of course. see an illustration. So there, there we go. There you see a, a bulge um, in the groin area. Mm -hmm. It's usually at the inguinal canal. There's two types. There's an, an indirect, which in males can go usually down into the scrotum. Okay. And then there's a direct, which happens in a weakness in, in a special triangle. It's called the Hasselbeck triangle. So again, back to basics, a hernia is... Is a, just a hole. It's just a, a hole. Or a defect. Or a defect. All right. The next we have is a femoral hernia. So the next one is a, is a femoral hernia. It's, it's also in the groin, but it mm -hmm. tends to be a little bit lower than the original place for the inguinals. It can be, it's usually below the inguinal ligament and, and patients will notice either a bulge in the groin or just right in the superior aspect of the thigh. Okay, so next we have the umbilical hernia, which is something that's very common, especially very with women common. giving birth. Yeah. Talk to us a little so bit about this one. Belly button hernias are extremely common. Um, we see them all the time. We see them a lot in, in postpartum ladies as, you know, they have these, these bellies that grow over time. There's, there's a little weakness there in the, in the umbilical ring. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once they deliver the baby, some of those tissues are still quite elastic. So, right. so they can form a hernia. Um, it's extremely common. Extremely common. And the next one is an incisional hernia. So an incisional hernia is a, it's a hernia that you're going to see in, in, a, in a place where you've had surgery before. They're, you could say they're man-made. Is that when the scar tissue sort of builds up and that causes the incisional hernia? Um, usually the scar tissue, w w what happens is that there's a weakness or either because the patient was obese or there was other factors, there was infection, mm -hmm. or you can see it in very big incisions for other types of, hernia, of surgeries. And but there's a weakness that happens and over time that, that can form into a hernia. But it's basically man-made. Okay. And these are fairly common as well. Now, epigastric. This is the one that I was diagnosed with, so I want to know more. What's an epigastric hernia? So an epigastric hernia is a hernia that's usually above the belly button in the midline. Um, it's also due to a weakness. Um, you can see it in patients who are very active. You know, a lot of exercise. It, sometimes these hernias are, are very small, but they can be quite painful.